So if you go to transaction O B 90, this is where the table is maintained. And this table essentially is the type of rounding that, that you're, you're asking the system to do based on the company code and currency. Meaning, in the company code US, in the US, if you are creating an invoice in USD, how should be the rounding? If you are creating an invoice in EUR, Euro, in US company code, how should the rounding be? So the transaction code OB90 controls the rounding rules. How does it control it? By company code and currency. And what does this rounding units mean? So what does 5 mean? What does 10 mean? What does 100? So 100 is typically like USD, right? USD is two decimals, right? So this is 5112.32, right? If or 0 0.326. If this is what we have arrived at, this will be rounded to 5112.33, right? It's rounding up to two decimals. That's what 100 means. Now, 10 means. I don't know what kind of currency rounds up to 10, but let's say if it were the same amount, 5112.326, this is how it will round up to 5112.3. Because it's 2 here, it gets rounded down to 3. If it were 3 here, it would get rounded up to 4. Right? So it's getting rounded to the I don't know what it is called, 10th place or whatever. So that's what 10 means. So you can just try it on your system. We'll, we'll see a demo. What does 5 mean? So 5 means 5112.326. If this were the case, this will round it up to 5112.30. So, so the reason why it does that is this value is 32, right? it gets rounded to the nearest 5, meaning so 30, 3, 0, and then we have 35, right? It goes in increments of 5, and 32 becomes 30. So 5112.30 is what it uh, rounds down to. In this case, it gets round down, or it could get rounded up if, if, um, if the number is higher, right? If it were 3, 7, it might get rounded to 4, 0. So that's what these numbers rounding units indicate. And remember, it's by company code and by currency.